Hello everyone, welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 where we continue our adventure in, for now, what is the Amalfi Republic. This this campaign, this little playthrough has actually surprised me. Uh, two episodes ago we took Toronto and we last episode took Tunis in a Holy War, which went off surprisingly well. Uh, I'm really kind of shocked that we didn't have any more of the Sunni uh, nations come after us to tell you the truth uh, but it worked well and let's see you want to offer me spy master am I a good spy master I'm really not that good but sure why not um, we'll take that position because I do think you get paid and I believe this is yeah we get an outbreak of Oh joy. Smallpox, which is really not what you want to have going on. So we've shut the gates and we're going to dive right back into things. Uh, we have saved up a bananas amount of money. We're going to try to fabricate some claims. Um, realistically, we need to take over these four counties plus something over here or over here. We have to, I think there, let's see, there are 20 counties in the kingdom of Sicily, and we need to have 11 to be able to form that to further advance our interest. Uh, okay, what do you want? You want to make me a commander, right? Uh, no, we are not going to be a proper Sardinian Catholic. We will remain a Greek Byzantine Orthodox individual. All right, so uh, the Jihad for Africa against the King of Frisia has come to an end as he's been overthrown. Wow. Uh, there were multiple successful Jihads. Let's see what the net result of that is. Um, you now have these gentle folks. Su Jihad. And it looks like we have someone we need to educate. It would be our nephew who continues to be a bit of a lemon. He's not rather diplomatic, is he? But he could be a good marshal for us. And I'm just hanging out with troops raised, which is not what we want to do. And we need to make that money. Uh, but a but, 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 uh, daughter was born to my brother. A lot of girls and some good news on that front all right let's take a look at our holdings that's not ours this is ours so we can't really do any upgrades there can we up no. we can we can actually spend a chunk of change and get mustering grounds which would give us some more troops not a bad idea uh, Wow. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff we need to build here. Holy Toledo. And then, of course, we've got all the trade posts, which we do need to upgrade. Um, hmm. What do we want to do here? I, wow, this is expensive. Do I really want to sink half my money? I mean, if we're going to build a toll booth, I definitely think we do that. And then, I believe in this county, we go ahead and build a hospital. And that's fine for now. Because we're making a decent amount of money. I think that says 29. Yeah. That's, that's not bad money. It's not great. I mean, eventually it'll be higher. But in order for it to be higher, we have to we have to gather some more land. So we got riots, and of course it's us versus our rivals, the Urso family. I mean, golly, we must hate each other. That's the only thing I can come to the conclusion there is that those two families, I mean, it's just complete blood feud. 
Yeah, that's got to be it, right? Is that knockover Gatorade bottles? That's got to be it. So, ooh, I would love to fabricate a claim. Is my chancellor any good? Uh, he's all right. Hey, we had a son. And let's name him after our grandfather. Apparently. Yep, grandfather it is. And the wolf's territory has crept closer to the cattle and more sheep, pigs, and chickens vanish each day. Well, that is a problem. Um, the wolves are not to blame. He doesn't like me. I mean, either way, this is a positive gain with both of those jokers, so I guess we'll take that. In terms of tech, uh, there's, God, that's abysmal. Abysmal. How is the tech level? Oh, it's so abysmal. So abysmal. Uh, I think I think we already opened the gates. I guess. Oh, there we go. Trade galley belonging to the shipping empire has been several days overdue. Wah, wah, wah. We lost another ship. Bye bye money. Are y'all at war with the Byzantines? No, you're at war with a lot of people. Gosh, I wish y'all were just awful why do you have to be orthodox this is just ugh. y'all had to convert they had to convert folks we need a new designated regent preferably someone who's got some pretty good diplomacy that's good all right so let's see what's happened here my liege i am pleased to report that your errant subject this lady has converted to the orthodox faith praise jesus sincerely your court chaplain. Good work, court chaplain. I'm proud of you. Alright. Back to the whole chancellor thing. He's not great. 6.47 chance we will fabricate a claim. So my father-in-law, who was the baron of Bolva, has passed away. I don't think she's my mother-in-law. No, she died. Well, she died seven years ago. Of the cancer. I can rank up in society? No way. The communal, uh, the community of St. Basil. Let's, what does the next rank do? Uh, sure. Let's rank up. And with our family first focus, we will get a boost to our family. I would love to be in a war against Bulgaria right now. I, I cannot stress that enough. They just oh, ripe for the picking. I want to take that territory so bad. But I bet I don't have any valid Cassus Belli. Um, we could seize a city. I just don't think that does us a whole lot of good, though. Um, I mean, it does us good, but it doesn't get us what we need long term. All right, so this is my half sister, who's a bastard, and she's got a lisp. She's not very good. She is not a very good character right now. That's not to say that that can't be remedied, because God knows that I've seen terrible characters become fairly okay characters, but I don't hold out a lot of hope for that child. Very little hope. Alright, so... Uh, God's blessing upon thee. The community of St. Basil is in need of more funds to maintain charitable functions. Donate to charity. Well, sure. Um, uh, 
Let's go ahead and donate to charity. How dangerous is this? Oh, it's just 100 gold? Yeah, we'll totally do that. I only did my duty. Okay. So, God's blessing upon thee. You have impressed us all with your noble rule and adherence to the rule of St. Basil. As a reward for your recent advancement to the rank of whatever that is, um, I have sent you one of St. Basil, Basil's finger bones. Protect this holy relic with your life. So we got a finger bone. So... That's honestly not bad. We got money. I don't really feel like upgrading anything. Let's actually search for a smith. We need a weapon. No, we need jewels. Where are you, smith? Hold a summer fair. There we go. Alright. Find me a goldsmith. We're not exactly a warring type person to lead armies because we don't want him to get killed. But he could definitely use some nice fancy jewels. And, I mean, we've got the money too. We're making, making our fair share, that's for sure. Galicia, what did you do to France? This is beautiful. Hungary. You're looking pretty nice too. Alright, so Mercy cried the thief when Samuel confronted and accused him of being the robber. Poor Samuel. No, not poor Samuel. Samuel should, should be happy. I'm delivering the king's justice. There we go. Alright, so we're going to wait on Smith. We're, I mean, we're pretty much at the mercy of the game. Although, I'm really not being smart. So, the Smith shows up. We basically say, hey... We want some fine jewelry. So we can do a crown of jewel. Yeah, 100. Yeah, we'll do that. And then the next thing that I need to do is this. We need to search for a mill. We need to search for my religion. Search all. And one that would like to join my court. Who has... Re oh, God. You're beautiful. Hello. Come to court. You're going to help me accomplish what I need to accomplish. And that fellow is there, which means we can sack this guy and appoint him and tell him, go fabricate a claim on that. It is your duty. Who's sieging this down? Who are you at war with? Ooh. All right. This filthy Smith. My mother. You're 45. She's 68. Come on now. As I was walking towards Master Garissimo's smithy. I could not hear the sound of progress, but instead the sound of voices talking. I found the Master Smith and my mother discussing different metals and their compositions. All this talk was making my head spin and definitely halting the process. Progress, not process, progress on the work I have ordered. There's no harm. I lose prestige. Or I gain it. You know, that's fun. They can talk. I'm sure my mother's lonely. She just wants to learn about precious metals. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. And it looks like we are at war. We are... Oh, that guy's gonna die. That guy's gonna die real fast. Because we're actually going to join this war. You ain't gonna overthrow this ruler. You're crazy.
Let's go ahead and call our support in. Say, everyone here, run. We must fight in the battle. Oh, he got crushed. All right, so the Grand Library has been built. Which means all we have left is a swordsmith, riding grounds, target range, and a private shipyard. Well, <laughs> we're not doing that one. That... Yeah, I mean, any of these would be fine. Let's just go ahead and get the swordsmith. Even though it depletes my money. Might as well do that, right? I think so. Oh, Kapua. How you're going to fall. Alright. Smith. A heavy box has been brought before me. He's finished his work and the crown jewels are completed. I expect... Uh, something properly benefiting my title as Lord Mayor of Nepali. I'm excited to see his handiwork. Alright, so we're going to get a crown of lilies, a scepter, and an engraved sword. Let's actually take a look at those. And let's see what they do. Alright, so we have a crown of lilies, which uh, basically gives us a little bit of a boost to opinion from feudal city and tribal vassals as well as a very marginal amount of prestige per month. We get a Noble Scepter, which does the exact same thing, and we also get an Engraved Sword, which does fairly well. So, and that should help boost opinions amongst the vassals and the folks at court. In the meantime, we continue to fabricate claims and make money. I think that was 100 ducats well spent, uh, as the prestige gain alone compounded over this guy's rule and the next guy's rule. And the next guy's rule is very much worth the cost. He sieged down my trade post. Go figure. Now this thing should fall pretty fast. And this war will probably be over before it started. In fact, it may be over by the end of this episode. <clears throat> which would be a great thing. At least I think it would be a great thing. Alright, so... Yeah, we're close. The conversion of Bohemia. I'm assuming they became Catholic. God, Bohemia, you're, you're not looking real stout. All right, so this is our kinsman, and he actually is going to focus on thrift. Did they become Catholic? They went Orthodox. Well, hello you, beautiful. Wow, I tell you, this is not too shabby. Hopefully the Orthodox will do that. Um, anywho, let's go ahead and get this war over. We just gotta siege this last holding down. And it's gonna fall quickly. So my half brother. Oh gosh, what did you you became Waldesian. Uh, it's not that dangerous of a heresy. I think Cathar's a little more dangerous than Waldesianism. And we're coming up on time, ladies and gentlemen, so as soon as this war gets over, we're going to, well, we're going to make a cut right here because we just got a claim and that's everything that we could ever want. So I will catch y'all next time. As always, folks, y'all be good and uh, I'll see you later.